welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs on Fuego. We're documenting the journey of entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time. Scott Floor, man, how are you doing? Yes, I'm fantastic. I, I, Good to be here. I, I love the name of your of your company, I Perspective. I Perspective, yes. And, and you spelled it kind of cool too. A little different. It's, it's a little it. different. It's I P E R S P K T I V. That is really cool. Thank um, you. Mission, 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 reason, and vision. Yes. Those are the three. I, I look at entrepreneur. There are a lot of different ways I look at entrepreneurship, and that's what I try to do: is bring a new perspective into the way people look at at life, business, what it is that they're doing, their purpose here. And I see the three different aspects that are really important to me is bringing clarity into life, clarity into what it is that you're providing out into the world, and the three aspects. Yeah, and, go ahead. And before you say anything, when you said you bring clarity, that, clarity. that is, we're assuming then that we are, we're living. Uh, uh, under a cloud or with some type of veil, uh, what, where are we? What state are we that you bring clarity to? Uh, well, me to me, that. clarity is driving an understanding of what you want to accomplish, what okay. you're here to do, what it is. A lot of you're right. I do believe a lot of people are walking around kind of in a cloud. They have, and in some instances, that's part of their journey. That's where they need to go. But when you're looking and you're trying to set a goal, when you're doing an entrepreneurship situation you need to be very clear about what you want to accomplish. Okay. You want to be very clear about where you want to go, who your ideal customer is, who it is that you're reaching out to, what service you provide, in whatever state or however it is that you're really kind of doing your business. And so right? that's how you come that's up with the, the three. That's the clarity, and that's where I come up with the three okay. different things, right? And so yeah. I start with the reason. You can actually start, it's kind of a trifecta. You can start anywhere within that resonates, but I usually start with the reason. Uh, the reason to me is very important because it, it is what gets you up in the morning. It's your enthusiasm for life. It's your motivation. It, it really truly is what drives, it's the driving force. It's something that's very personal to you. It has to be very personal to you. There has to be a reason why it is that you want to share what it is that you're sharing. And, but we're not always that enthusiastic about that reason, right? I mean, wake up in the morning and, God, you know, I have my routine. I want to go to the gym. Sure. But today, it's raining outside. I just want to stay in bed. But when you're very passionate about what it is that you do, and that to me is very key with an entrepreneurship standpoint, you have to have passion for what it is that you're doing. Okay. And it's that passion that is connected to that reason for getting up in the morning. Got it. Right? And so that's, that's the reason piece of it. And then as you go in and you understand that, that's a personal, personal motivation, personal enthusiasm for life. Enthusiasm is far more powerful than motivation. Gotcha. So you overcome that and say, no, despite the fact that... Despite the fact, whatever it, it, it is that's cloud, going it, on in the world... I got to get up. I got to get up because I got to share this. Let me put my right? foot forward. I'm going to go. Correct. Okay. You have to move because have action move. is required. Got it. Right. And then as you go through, and, and that's what I help people, all of these things, I help people negotiate through these and help find where their reason is and their purpose and their motivation and all that sort cool. of thing as we go through it. Uh, the, third, the second piece of it then, as you talked about, yep. is, is that vision piece. The vision is something where you have to understand what you're trying to accomplish. And so a vision, in my perspective, is certainly something from a visualization. I'm a big believer in doing visualizations. There's that piece. But you have to understand what you're after. And so you have to really put together who your ideal customer is, what they look like, the different traits that they have, where you're going to find them, what it is that you're going to be offering them. When you have that vision, that is one of the massive pieces of clarity because you have to be very committed to what it is that you're doing. And, and also very specific as to what that vision is. Very about. specific you, you about it. You can't be too abstract, I suppose. Correct. Otherwise and part of that, I'm a big believer of the law of attraction. And so when you're looking at part of understanding that vision is what it is that you're attracting into your business and into your life. And right. the more specific you are about it, obviously the more specific it's going to be attracted into you. What, what, what's one of the... Uh, the tips that you would give somebody that wants to write that vision down. And I said, write the vision down. Is there a format? Is there somewhere? Is there, is there a pattern? Is there something that we should follow to write that vision down? Or is it you put it out there, you put it on the vision board? Or how, how do you do that? Yeah, they're definitely, I, I mean, they all, they're def different. Like, there's a vision board, there's a vision book. They all follow the same kind of patterns. But ultimately, when it, it doesn't comes matter. down, whatever. it doesn't matter. Whatever resonates with you, we work with. All right. Uh, the thing, though, when it comes down to, to really defining what that vision is. To me, I start with myself, or I start with, with you, for example. What is it that you find passionate about what this is? What are the traits? Because when you surround yourself, you, you're the, the, I mean, you've heard many times, I'm sure, you're the average of the six people you surround yourself with most. Okay, and so what you're looking at is saying, when I'm looking at my vision, I want to look at what interests me in life. 
So I want to look at, for me personally, it's going to be yoga, it's going to be outdoors, hiking, uh, you know, certainly business, health, all that sort of thing. And so you have to start with yourself because you want to bring more of what resonates with you into your life. Got you it. see, and so as you apply those layers into this, that's where that specificity comes from. And that's what ultimately leads to saying, well, my ideal customer is really going to be someone like me. I'm passionate about my products. I'm passionate about this. I have enthusiasm for that. I have a wealth mindset. I am, you know, coachable, all that sort of thing. So ultimately, that's you want, where you start dividing You want that. to attract that type of client to you. Right. So we right. have, we have a reason and we have vision. And Correct. the third one is? The third one is a mission. Mission, okay. The mission, and the reason I, I, I call it a mission because it, there, it, it has to have, you know, I, I use the, the idea the military doesn't go out and, and have goals. They have missions. Their right. missions are very specific because they have a specific target. They have a specific end point. They know when they have achieved what it is they're out to do. Right. And that's absolutely required when you're, when you're doing this. When you're doing an entrepreneur situation or you're out doing life, really, you have to have an understanding of what your goals are and ultimately what your endpoint is. You have to have a way to measure success, right? Got and it. so that's where the mission comes into play is setting forth what, what goals do you have? How do you know when you're succeeding? And when do you celebrate the successes? Because that's the celebration is absolutely key. You have to be able to know you've succeeded and you have to be able to celebrate. And when you've achieved that mission, it's time to reset another mission. And so I usually work with people to say, okay, well, the thing about missions that's very key is that they can't be too short term or they hold no weight. They also can't be too long term or they become self-defeating because it seems so far out in the future, you're never going to get there. So it has to be something that is attainable within a reasonable period of time, but still slightly outside of your comfort zone. If it's within your comfort zone, then you're not learning and you're not growing. If it's so far outside your comfort zone, you're just going to hit a wall and you're not going to, you're not going to be happy with the results. It's going to be, again, a self-defeating situation. So I work with them to understand kind of where can we set a mission for, is it something that's going to be for this week? Is it something that's going to be for three months out? Wherever Everybody's different in terms of how they can handle that. But the mission is really the success point of knowing and measuring success and being able to celebrate. How do you, well, let, let me ask you this other way. Yeah. Is it hard hard for you yourself as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, to apply those three principles to yourself? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's actually really funny you would ask that because I just went through, I was talking to a friend of mine, I just went through an exercise and I thought, man, you know, it was my birthday not too long ago. I thought, you know, for my birthday, I'm almost turning 40. I'm going to sit down and just apply the same model <laughs> exactly. to myself right. because I haven't for a while. And it, it is... Um, it can be a little bit of a challenge. Because you have to be sure, very honest. You have to be very honest with yourself. Open, honest, right. and, and right. realistic, and apply exactly. all those principles exactly. to Exactly, exactly. And that's one of the things that, you know, ultimately when it comes down to all of this, in my opinion anyway, all of it comes down to being grounded in your own truth. And having these, these tips and all, it's just they're guide points along the way for everything else. But the more grounded you are in your own truth, and who you are and what you stand for, the easier those things are. Is it, as an entrepreneur, mm. um, what is the hardest challenge that you have faced so far? Because you, you've, you've done a, a ton of stuff. I've, yeah, I've done, I mean, there, yeah, I've done a good amount of stuff. What, what, is, what is the hardest challenge that you, that, that you saw, and how did you resolve it? Because I'm sure, I mean, it, it probably seemed insurmountable at the time, Yeah. but then, Something happened, you overcome it. Sure, sure, sure. What happened? One of the things that is, I, I'll go back to that, that centered and that truth aspect because it is very easy to get caught up in so many of the things that are going on. There, I, I, I kind of, I relate it to learning how to drive a car. Okay, and I, I don't know, I, okay, so it's kind of like learning how to drive a car and you're learning, I had to learn on stick shift. That was like a requirement for driving a car was learning how to stick shift. And so you're, you're just getting in the car for the first time. You've got to understand where the clutch point is. You have to understand the brake, the gas, the yep. steering, the mirrors, where the gear points are. So there's a lot of different things you have to learn all at one time in order to be synchronicity with everything yep. and so that you yep. can be successful with it. And so you're, you're popping, you're braking. I mean, everything is just a hot mess and so you really start to learn and understand the skills applying to driving a car. Once you understand the skills, then what ends up happening is you get in another car. You get in somebody else's car. 
You ever driven somebody else's car and you don't know where stuff is? And you're, <laughs> right. But the thing is, once you figure it out, the skills just go right into play again. Yep. And so you can move around to different cars, you can drive around to different situations, and it takes a little bit of time to figure out and negotiate the different points of the automobile, but ultimately you're still rested in that same skill set. Right. And that to me okay. is what ends up being kind of difficult is remembering that I look at that skill set as being that grounded within yourself. And so it's easy to become distracted with all of the different things going on, but ultimately the more grounded you are within your knowledge and your own skill set, it applies out to everything that you're doing. Best advice you got? Best advice I got. Best advice I got is to wake up, smile, and enjoy life. Scott Floor. Amazing stuff, man. Thank That's you, very sir. cool stuff, man. You're, Thank you. You're very clear about what you're doing. I see you jumping on your parachute and stuff, jumping off a plane, man. Go skydiving. Everybody's got to go skydiving at one point. That's very true. Just jump. 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 That's it. You just jump. jump. You got a line. Jump. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. With that, we're out. Welcome to the